Inflation is out of control, and it seems like everywhere that we turn, costs are going up all over the place. And our biggest cost each month, for most of us, is our mortgage. So today we're gonna to talk about ways that we can reduce that cost, put more money in our wallets. Today, on State 48 Homeowner. Hi, I'm Kenny Klaus, and this is State 48 Homeowner. Hey Scott, how you doing this morning, hey, brother? Steve. <laughs> so I think a lot of people, when they think of refinances, yep. they're thinking of ways to try and get this monopoly money <laughs> that's sitting in our equity that unused that equity is untapped. And yes, we're sir. thinking of those cash out refis. But there's a whole lot of other ways that we can refinance, and one of those is a streamlined refi. Let's talk about that. Yeah, streamlined refinance. Thanks for thanks for inviting me in, by the way, man. Um, streamlined refinances are kind of a refinance that not a lot of people have a knowledge of. Um, somebody maybe that bought a bought a home using FHA or VA mm -hmm. home loans. So that's those are the only so two go government loans. Government loans that they're available for. But the beauty of the streamline is that even if you just recently purchased your home within the last year, so you don't have a ton of equity. We all know VA, you don't put any down payment. FHA is just three and a half percent. Streamline doesn't care. You don't have to have equity to reduce your interest rate. It's a, it's a no cash out streamline refinance that helps you lower your interest rate to save you money each month on that principal and interest portion of your payment. Which is huge because in the beginning of that loan, we're not knocking down that no. that principal much at all. No, sir. And so, yeah, that's, that's huge. <laughs> it's huge. And, and the monthly savings can be tremendous. I mean, especially if you're looking back uh, this time last year, October of 2023, I mean, interest rates hit a peak, you know, about 7.94% on average, and that included government loans. So um, right now, the way interest rates are today on Friday the 13th, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> you know, right now... You know, if you got greater than a 6.5% on a government loan, it's time to entertain potential streamlined refinance to reduce your interest rate now and you save save each month like we were talking about, you know, and there's no need to have untapped equity to do it. So I think a lot of people think that the process is incredibly difficult and incredibly right. expensive. So let's talk about what that process looks like. Sure. And both of those things, not the case with the streamlined refinance. The beauty of a streamlined refinance, I'll tackle the first one. Um, it's pretty effortless. There's no income verification. It, there's one little nuance that, that it is, but there's no income verification, just employment verification. Mm -hmm. um, no asset verification. No real credit. It's just a mortgage-only credit report. And there's no appraisal needed. So the mortgage-only credit report, we're just checking to make sure that we made our, our right. payments. Both FHA and VA, to do a streamlined refinance, require that you've made on-time payments in the last six months or 12 months, depending on program. But So again, no 30-day lates, no 60-day lates. So it's not for somebody to try to save them from potential foreclosure or delinquency. But again, that's all they're looking for. So it's just mortgage-only. And yet again, this is one of those things that when we buy a house, uh -huh. it's so important to be making those payments on time. 100%. Uh, you know, stuff like this, it's going to be important. Uh, one of the biggest things that uh, they look for on your credit is on-time payments, and especially yep. on these long-term uh, credit accounts like your mortgage. 100%. And, and, and again, no, no income verification. So um, all I need, all you really need is the name of your employer, the address of the employer, and the phone number so they can verify that you have a job. That's mm -hmm. it. No income, no W-2s, no pay stubs, no bank statements. The only time that so you it's need... it's not as crazy as when you went and got the loan. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and then on the cost of it, the cost of it's really nice because A, both entities limit what a mortgage broker or lender can make on these refinances because, again, what the government's trying to do is help people reduce the cost, the monthly cost mm -hmm. that they're experiencing maybe for a higher interest rate. Um, so that's why they limit it. So they limit what we can make, I can make. Mm -hmm. Sorry, right? But <laughs> too bad, so sad, Steve. Um, but also title costs are going to be significantly less. And a yeah. lot of times um, the rate's so much lower on these type of deals that there can be some type of credit given back because the rate's lower. Um, so there's no real out-of-pocket cost. And in most cases, there's not. And, and let's look at the reason why we have these government loan programs. 
is to encourage home ownership. Yes, sir. And we want to maintain home ownership. Yes, sir. And one of the ways that we maintain home ownership is by keeping homes affordable. Yes, and sir. We, we keep homes affordable by keeping the cost of home ownership low. 100%. And that monthly payment low. And, you know, we the thing with uh, the, lo- the loan payment, yes, that PI part is going to stay the same. But we also know that insurance costs are going up and taxes right. costs are going up. And so that part of the payment is going up. And we've seen over the last couple of years, those insurance rates are skyrocketing. Skyrocketing. And those tax costs are going up, especially if you live in a couple towns mm-hmm. in our in uh, in the valley. Those yeah. costs are going up. And so... If you the, can reduce they, that principal we, and interest yeah, portion with a fairly effortless refinance... It's tremendous. I mean, I'm sorry that it's not available on Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac products, <laughs> but again, it's it's really something that's overlooked sometimes by people in my industry because they seem like they're too difficult or there's just not enough margin in it for them that they're not interested in doing them. I'll do them all day long. Um, I just help you know a few clients. I had one client, they reduced their interest rate from seven and a quarter um, to the high fives. They saved over $537 a month on their principal and interest portion. They've got three kids. I mean, it was a tremendous thing. And and again, you can do it over and over again. So again, there's measures in place that we can't churn these refinances. So again, you know, there's measures in place that make sure we're doing right by the consumer. Um, you know, you've got to reduce the interest rate by a certain percentage. There can't be, there's going to be limited costs to the consumer that are built into the loan. I can't charge three, four points on these type of deals. Um, and obviously, again, title costs are going to be limited. And we have to make sure that there's a net tangible benefit to even complete it. If it doesn't pass the test, it doesn't get done. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's a great product. Um, How you does know, the consumer get started? Consumer get started, just give me a call, you know, give me a call, give us a call here at the Klaus team, give me a call personally, 480-215-5590, email me at steve.farrington at unityhomeloans.com. If not, call Klaus team, they know how they know how to get a hold of me, um, and I'll just walk you through it and make sure it benefits you, just 15-minute conversation. And again, a benefit of it that we didn't touch on, there, there's such limited documentation, no appraisal needed, limited title work, no income asset documentation. Typically, you can close these in about 15 days. 15 days. 15 days. So if somebody called me today, what, with the 13th, mm-hmm. I'd get it done before your October, October 1st payment is due. But even just how long is the conversation that lets them know really what kind of a difference it's going to make in their payment? 15 15 minutes, yeah. 10, 15 minutes, as long as you know what your current interest rate is and make sure it's an FHA or VA home loan. Um, and then all the other things, let me take care of that. I'll walk you through like, hey, you might have to wait another month because there are timelines. Because again, we yeah. can't, we're not allowed to churn them over and over again as interest rates will drop. But the nice thing is if you do a VA or an FHA streamline today, if rates get even lower first quarter, second quarter of next year, you can do it again. And again, we're utilizing some of the home's equity Mm -hmm. to help them make, you know, that monthly payment less and less as other costs continue to go up. Cool. Well, thanks, Steve. You bet, buddy. Take care. Yeah. Thanks for spending time with us this week at State 48 Homeowner, the ins and outs of owning an Arizona home. You can connect with us for more information, submit topics you'd like us to further discuss. You can see relevant videos, give us feedback, answer your real estate questions and more at state48homeowner.com.